Welcome vlog. Hello. Today we are doing the long-awaited engagement Q and A. I had you guys submit questions in our engagement vlog in the comments, and then also on, on my Instagram. Instagram stories. And before we get into it, just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning into Vlogmas because it was probably my favorite Vlogmas I've ever done. I think I started doing Vlogmas in 2020, and this one was my favorite. I think. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to my editor. Couldn't have done it without you, literally. And also, I wanted to mention that I will be contacting the winners of the giveaways throughout January. So keep an eye out for that. And also, as we always say, don't get scammed. Always make sure that the person replying to your comment is me, has a check mark. And if you click it, you can see all my videos there. It's actually from my profile because we don't want scams, especially no not scams. in the new year. No 2024, scams. 2024, no scams. Yes, agreed. So yeah, let's get into the Q&A. How long have you been together slash how did you meet? So I'm pretty sure we've told this I story. I think so, right? yeah. Maybe not on the vlog channel, but on the main channel when we did the truth or drink oh uh, yeah maybe maybe that's why some people in the vlog don't know but anyway so we met in freshman year of high school we went to the same chinese school on the weekends there was no romantic interest there no. at least not on my end yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah well what, she you always, got something to say she always leaves out this part but she used to copy my chinese homework whatever on a frequent basis no okay well to be fair birds dad did his chinese homework and then hey, we don't need I to talk about it, that okay? we don't need to talk about that <laughs> Yeah, and we were just friends mm -hmm, during the Chinese friends. school period. And then when we were freshmen at Davis, we ran into each other during fall quarter and had lunch. And then we started hanging out a lot. Right. And then by winter quarter, we started dating already. So we've been together for, it's almost 10 years. Next week will be 10 years. Actually, by the time this comes out, this might it might be 10 years. Right. I've been saying that for a long time already. Ever since like eight years, Bert has been saying we've been together 10 years. I just think 10 He's sounds- just trying to round up or whatever. It sounds so much cooler than like eight, you know? So or just, nine. Yeah. Yeah, or nine, so just say 10. The next question is, when did you both know that they were the one? I feel like no one ever, there's not really ever like a, a specific, specific moment. moment, like in this second I know, you know? But, but I, think you've said, I knew really yeah. early. I felt right. like- She felt that way in like the first month or so. No! <laughs> not like a month, but early, like less than six months. Yeah. I was like, hmm. Marry this guy. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, like maybe it's different because it, you had a few relationships yeah, so before. Yeah, so Bird never been in a relationship before we started dating, but I had been in a few relationships in high school that weren't the best. So once I started dating you, I was like, wow, he treats me real good, <laughs> and not nice. not like my ex boyfriends. <laughs> so that was like a huge thing that made me feel like you were like the one, you know? Right. Yeah, but maybe that was just my young love talking. Right. But anyway, it worked. Out in the yeah, <laughs> but like you were saying, generally I think there's not really like a specific moment. It's more like a gradual thing. I feel like it was like early on we had moments where I was like, oh yeah, this like maybe we, we will end up getting married, you know. Mm. Um, but like, yeah, within the first year. I think within like the first two, three years, like there- Within the first two, three years? Yeah, there are moments where you, like I just felt like we should maybe get married or down the line, <laughs> down the line, not immediately, but yeah, yeah, yeah. down the line. Maybe we're like very compatible yeah. and it seems like that's like a possibility right. or whatever, or it's likely. And then we did it, you know? Well, we're out. not married yet, we're yeah, engaged. Engaged, <laughs> but shout out to us. Shout out to young us for knowing. <laughs> did you guys choose the rings together slash how did the ring process, process go. go. Yeah, so I think we kind of just both were in agreement on the ring. Like you're spending so much money on something. Yeah. It should well, be I something think, that I, I like, right? We should also preface, like we had been together for a long time already. Yeah. So, so we, we, we kind of knew, knew we were moving in the direction yeah. of like, we we're gonna get engaged, we're gonna right. get married. So we kind of were in agreement. Like, I don't want you to choose something that I'm not gonna like, especially if you're gonna spend so much money right. on it. Also, I, I wanted to make sure that the ring that we got fit the style that you wanted. Yeah. Cause like, I kind of like, like silver mm -hmm. over gold. Like I usually wear silver jewelry over gold. And then I feel like you wouldn't know that. So no. yeah, things like that or like the shape. Honestly, all I did was search up engagement rings on Pinterest and then I like hearted the ones that I liked. And then we worked with a friend who owns a jewelry shop in Houston and he helped custom design the ring. Even though it's very like simple, I went with like a solitaire, I think 
even still, I'm not super I don't sure remember what everything specifics. is called. But yeah, I think it's like a white gold solitaire. It's oval cut. It's a lab diamond. And it turned out really good. Yeah, very, very happy with the ring because I obviously picked it up. Shout out friend. <laughs> and we did like vlog a bunch of that stuff too. So if you go back in the old vlogs, you can find when we picked up the rings and when we saw them for the first time, we picked up like the wedding band and Bird's wedding band as well. Yeah, I'm waiting for my ring to show up. <laughs> when can I wear my okay, ring? Okay, Bird. <laughs> Okay, next question. How long did it take for Bird to plan slash how did you plan it? I think maybe like two-ish months. It wasn't like two months of like just straight planning. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. kind of like two months on and off. It was a little hard because- We're I, always together. Yeah, we're always Constantly. together. Constantly. So she, I knew that she was going to be in Taiwan for the month of December for the majority. Like I left to go to Taiwan before you. Right. And then for me, like I had, I started planning when she was still around. So I had to kind of be secretive about that. Like, like I'd have it on I my laptop. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, I know, because I'm secretive. Oh, I had job. it on my laptop, so yeah. whenever I hear you coming down the stairs, like... I, I, just, <laughs> I just change the tabs or oh. change it to a different desktop. So yeah, I was planning for maybe like two months on and off. And then once she left, then that's when I really kicked into high gear of like planning like the, the details. So I think originally I, I had like a fleeting thought of proposing earlier in Davis because we had visited Davis a few months prior. And obviously we, we met, or not met, but we started, we started dating, dating in, in Davis. Davis. We have so. a lot of memories. There's there. a lot of like sentimental value yeah. there. Um, yeah. So I wanted to propose in the Arboretum, which is like a very scenic area. Although it was, there was construction right. there right. when we visited, so it wouldn't have been as nice. Right. Ultimately, it's good that I didn't propose then. <laughs> Besides that point, you had kind of mentioned that, you know, Taiwan is a special place. I'm Taiwanese, birds also Taiwanese. That's why Taiwan is very special yeah. to us. And we've visited together a few times. Yeah. And, you know, we have very fond memories, memories of, of Taiwan. Taiwan. I had a like a criteria that I, I wanted to hit, which was like a scenic spot. In, Private. Uh, yeah, intimate setting. Cause that was, there were a few things that I told Bird, like I don't want it to be in a public, super public place. Like not at a Warriors right. game or something, right, right, not right. at a restaurant. Right. Like right. I don't want that. I want it to be right. more of a private. Yeah, thing. I think we were both kind of on the same page on that. Like we want it to be more of an intimate moment for us. So I, there was that criteria that I was trying to fit. And then, yeah, I was just doing research on Instagram, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. The tricky part is since I physically I had never been there, I had to like really, really do like a lot of research on that front. But also everything was in Chinese and I can't read Chinese even though we went to school for so long, I can't read it at all. Yeah, because your dad did your Chinese homework. Yes. And so the spot that I ended up choosing was Man Park. It's kind of on a hill and I was scared that it was going to be too, too steep. steep Because none of the videos really captured it, like the entire trek. So mm. I was a little worried about that. But in the end, it was okay. In uh, the end, it was like maybe three flights of stairs. It was It was, like, it was great. Yeah. yeah. F within five minutes, we yeah. were at the top. Yeah. So it was like, good job, me. Yeah. Good job. Good job, bird. That. Yeah. I also got a photographer. That was another aspect because when we went to Taiwan, we also attended a friend's wedding. When I was planning like the proposal, I was like, oh, we should do like a photo shoot. Right. Because we're gonna, you know. It's our engagement. Yeah, it's our engagement. So I had a great idea. I was like, my friend's getting married in Taiwan. They have photographers. So I asked them and it turned out well. Yeah, everything the pictures worked. turned out really Yeah, well. shout out, shout out them. Next question for Bird. Did everything go how you planned? For the most part. Yeah, I would say. Okay, so we should preface yeah. this. So usually when me and Bird travel together, I plan everything. I'm definitely the planner. Bird just sit back, relax, and enjoy everything I planned. But I wasn't gonna plan the proposal. Right. <laughs> That's like something that you were gonna plan. So the way that we went about it was there was three days in Taiwan where I was just like, you plan this. You do everything. You do yeah, everything. You, you plan the yeah. whole three days. And so that was kind of like a way so that it would still be a surprise to me. Cause like I wouldn't know when or where in the three days it would happen but I, I would still know that it was happening but like just realistically yeah, that's kinda, what made the most sense yeah, for us yeah we kind of knew that because that it's was... like honestly it's super unrealistic for you to make it a super surprise right like that's just not how we function yeah. as a couple and ultimately for our experience like I think that worked out well yeah because I think like other people maybe want to be super surprised, surprised. like yeah. completely I have no idea that's just not how I am yeah. like I like to plan things and we want to make sure like for us we want to to be dressed like yeah. appropriately, especially if yeah. there's gonna be like a photo and shoot. A photo shoot. Yeah, so. yeah. And so to me, I felt like I still was surprised. Like I knew it was gonna happen in the three days, but I didn't know when. I feel like it's kind of similar to, for example, if you have a birthday coming up and then your friend throw your surprise party. It's not like you're not surprised at the surprise right. party. You're still surprised, even though you know it's your birthday. Right. So 
I feel like it similar was, to that. it's similar to that, yeah. where I'm still surprised even though I know it's coming up. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, going back to the question of did everything go smoothly, for the most part, yeah. So there's three days that were kind of allocated to me to plan, and I had a lot of things planned for those three days. Yeah, but they got a little bit jumbled because I they got, yeah. had to work. <laughs> It, so, it actually, thanks it, Bird for it, accounting for my it working schedule. Out well. uh, yeah. It was good that we kind of jumbled it because I was still a bit jet lagged on the true. first portion of the trip. Oh, another thing that Bird was doing was that at the beginning of the trip, he was telling me, oh, I'm trying to get into like making videos. I want to be better at making videos, oh, yeah. which I was like, mm, <laughs> a little like, a little didn't suspicious. believe yeah, you yeah. exactly. But I was like, oh, it makes sense. He needs some sort of excuse. So this is right. his excuse or whatever. Yeah, he played it all. Like she knew, but she played it off well. Yeah, so um, then once we got to the top, then he was like, um, I want to get this shot of us like with the big view. You're talking about at the park. Once yeah, we got to once the, we got yeah. to the top and there was like this really nice view of Taipei 101 and the city. And he was like, I want to do a shot for my video of us like- Walking um, into frame. Yeah, walking into frame with the big view in the back. Like I just think it would look cool. So then he like set up the little tripod. <laughs> and then and then there was these gardeners at the park and they were like trimming the bushes. <laughs> Yeah. Like really loud, right? <laughs> and so not just with sit like they were using like those, chainsaw, those, like, yeah, like, whatever the weed bush whacker, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Once we set up the tripod and we walk into the frame, immediately that's like they started going to work. Like, <laughs> and I was just like watching them, like. When will they stop? No, and then you were like, should we wait until they're done? Right. And then I was like, well, if you're not including audio in your video, it should be fine, right? If you're gonna meet the clip. Right. And they were like, well, I think we should wait. So then I was like, okay, <laughs> then we're just waiting. Then they stopped briefly, right? Yeah. So then you were like, okay, let's do it. So then we walked into the frame right and then we were just standing there and i was like feeling nervous and then you turned to me and you started talking he started his speech and i was like oh my god no <laughs> immediately crying <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, even though like you can think of it as not a surprise because I knew it was happening in the three days, I honestly was still really surprised. Right. Like in the moment, like in the moment, you yeah. it's such a like big moment in your life that you just like you're just like oh my god, yeah, you're overwhelmed yeah. with emotion. And then I just immediately started crying. Hey, I think he said like two words, and I was like, like literally. And then I saw the photographer start taking pictures. I was like, dude, I please don't take pictures of me like this. And then you were just saying your speech, and I honestly, I was like, I you, couldn't even pay attention you, you to what process, you were saying. You didn't process any, anything I said? I think I kind of did, but I also was I worked was so like, hard to remember that speech too. <laughs> like you can't even see it in the video, in the vlog, the right. YouTube vlog, but I literally was like, <laughs> yeah, and then Bird said that I had snot dripping down too. Yes, it was quite funny. <laughs> Dude, I feel like thinking about the moment has all Taking you back. I'm like overwhelmed with emotion right now because <laughs> I'm like remembering it. But yeah, so sh <laughs> long answer short, uh, yes, everything went smoothly minus those the gardeners. The gardener. But that only lasted like two, three minutes. I think going leading up to the moment, I was so like oh, yeah. concerned that people might were go asking, wrong. "Are you nerve? Were you nervous?" Oh yeah, yeah. So that's the question. Right. That was a huge question people were asking. Yeah, I mean, when we were on the the car ride to the place, I was really, really nervous. I had no idea. Because I was also like sneakily uh, messaging the photographer, oh. saying like, "Hey, we're late. We're gonna be late. We're gonna be there in like ten minutes." Blah blah blah. And we were sitting next to each other in the back seat of the the car, and I was like trying to like hide. Really, my phone. I had no idea. I played. I guess I played it off well, but in my head, I was like, "Oh, she's gonna. She's definitely gonna." I tell. think I was like checking my email, yeah. playing love and pies. Um, but then, <laughs> and also when we got to the park, I was super super nervous because I had seen all these videos of the park, but I had never like walked. Right, right. You park. don't know the exact yeah. place, you, trail you need to walk. Yeah. Because also when we got to the park, I saw the photographer immediately. Uh, yeah. And you thought that I, that would throw me, or like I, I thought, would see him too. Yeah, I thought maybe you might see him. So yeah. I was like very hyper aware of, yeah. aware of everything. I was also glad, I'm glad I didn't forget my speech. Oh good, yes. Yes. I finalized the speech the day that I was getting, uh, I was flying in to Taiwan. Oh, okay. So on the plane ride, I was going over it. And, and then trying to remember it. Trying to remember it. And then any time we had downtime during the, the trip before the proposal, I would just like go. Good job. Good, good speech, bird. A lot of you guys had questions about the wedding, like where we want to have it, when we want to have it, or like a rough timeline, 
or like if we're gonna have a small or a large wedding, what food we're gonna have at the wedding. Honestly, we have not thought about it. Like the proposal was such a big thing that we had yeah. been looking forward to all year. And so we're just basking in the basking moment. Basking in the moment, enjoying our time being engaged, not really thinking about wedding stuff. Cause we're not in a rush to have yeah. a wedding either. But in general, we do have things that we've already discussed. Like even right. before, before we got engaged, like we've discussed what kind of wedding right. we would want. And I think at least right now, we're kind of in the ballpark of doing like an elopement. Yeah, like in that. Taiwan for like the ceremony and then doing like a reception smaller reception in the Bay yeah. Area where we can like invite friends and family and stuff I think it's primarily because neither of us are like super into we're kind of like low-key yeah people. we're very like low-key so I feel like elopement just suits us better yeah. and the reception would be just so we could celebrate with like right. our family and friends because and we still could, do want to have good that food. yes of course boba we definitely will be having boba Something. at the wedding Boba Fountain? Just pitching ideas. Well, I have dream foods that I want to have at my wedding. I don't know if it's possible because I don't really know anything about wedding planning, but something I think would be really cool is if there was like a handful noodle person oh, doing cool. like that and they were, you know, making handful noodles to order or something. I think that'd be super cool. Also, me and Bird's favorite taco truck, La Cora taco truck from Woodland Dave. slash oh, yeah. Davis. It'd be cool if they could cater our wedding. I don't see, I don't know if any of this is possible though. Bird said Boba Fountain. A boy can dream. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool though. That would be very cool. These are just things that we just dream Wishful up thinking. because we love those foods. Oh, actually, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of people have been sending me those little things that people have at their weddings where they make little Lego things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that'd be cool That would too. be cool. At least having something Lego related yes. at the wedding, I think would be really cool. So these are just like small little ideas we have. Have no idea if they're possible to do them all or do none of them. We don't know. <laughs> we will see. We will see. But yeah, I think that's all of for the Q&A. We just wanted to thank you guys for all the congratulations, all the love on our engagement video. Hearts. Oh God, finger hearts. Oh, it's so cute actually. <laughs> How do the kids do it these days? Anyway, if you made it this far, comment below. Boba Fountain Wedding. <laughs> Boba Fountain Wedding. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.